I've been living in Twerton for about uh, eight and a half, almost nine years now, and it's uh, it's a vibrant place. It's full of colour and texture. It's uh, the people are interesting, varied, lots of stuff going on all the time. And we've been working with YFC for a couple of years in the partnership, and it's uh, really it evolved out of a uh, out of our passion to make a difference with young people and uh, and families. And we and the families. Families are the environment that young people grow up in, so we, we recognise that we can't just work with young people, we've got to work with the whole family. But it's been really good to make this partnership with, with, with YFC and, and Luke in particular. He's got a passion for the area, he's moved into the area, he, he, he aches for the area, he loves the area and, and, he, and he wants to see, see kids' lives change in the area. And time and time again he comes back with a, a story of change or transformation that it kind, of, kind of makes us all feel uh, proud, really, of, of the difference that he's making and, and all those that work with him. So, um, I've lived in Twerton all my life and growing up, it's been kind of tough because um, there wasn't much around. But through the Young Leadership Scheme, we were able to run a youth club in Twerton. And that was for other young people with the same age as me at the time. And I was a bit nervous because it was people that I lived with growing up and knew the children then, they weren't quite nice to me growing up. I was bullied quite a bit in the street in the area in Twerton. But anyway, it started up and they came and they were actually really nice to me. And I was surprised myself because over that time, I think it was about a couple of months of doing it, volunteering, I was able to talk to other people and the people who used to bully, bully me. And straight away I managed to find forgiveness and because they changed too and I found a love for Twerton as a community and just being accepted all over again, really, and I felt so good. And I think for them as well, they felt the same thing of being able to be somewhere with all of their friends in the community rather than somewhere where they shouldn't be or doing something that they shouldn't be, where they can be somewhere safe and feel safe and just talk to people about their issues and some of the issues in Twerton and maybe trying to find a solution on how we can work on that. Life 365 exists to see children, young people and families in Twerton and Whiteway experience life in all its fullness. We want to see people reach and exceed their potential in life. We want to love people as God loves them. And we want to help people to see that Twerton and Whiteway are amazing places to live. The project came into being as a couple of us from Bath YFC started doing some work right here in the junior school. My name's Dave Goucher, head teacher at St Michael's Junior School based in Twerton and I've been head for six years and deputy for five and I'm a very proud head teacher of a, of a great school based in Twerton and same Bath. We have two mentors at the moment who work with a number of our children, by year six children as they transfer to secondary school. It's a big transfer for them, it's a big leap from our very small school to a very big school and over the years Bath YFC have helped are very challenging children to settle into secondary school but also keep that link with St Michael's. Um, they do a range of activities, um, you know, I mean Sarah does some mean nice crispy cakes and all the rocky road and things like that but more importantly that time with the children it really just brings them out of their shell and that one-to-one -one or small group work it just it just works for them and the children boost their confidence is boosted um, and they're, they're different people at the end of it. I love Twerton. Um, I love just walking down the streets and seeing the community of people talking um, together. In the past three years, I have worked more within Twerton um, in the community. Um, and I guess that, that started off working in the local primary school, St Michael's Juniors. Um, and that's grown like, from just being in a few hours a week to um, a full day and a half um, every week. I kind of focus on self-esteem stuff with them and talk through um, difficulties that are going on within their, their life and I love that, like that, that brings me life and I, I love um, just yeah, seeing how um, when you give a child a platform to talk, how they embrace that and how that gives them confidence just to believe in themselves and um, I guess like one of the main things whenever I'm overwhelmed by like situations that are going on, like God always brings me back to the simple truth that I'm there to love and, and create an atmosphere of love. And like I am a firm believer that 
that love does transform and it brings a rock, like it, it breaks down barriers. Life 365 is a partnership project between St Michael's and All Angels Church in Twerton and Bath Youth for Christ. St Michael's ensure the project is rooted locally and that we share the same passion for the area and the people as the church does. It's a partnership that works really well because we all share the same enthusiasm to see God bring about transformation in people's lives. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm 14 years old and I go to St Mark's School. I lived in Twerton for at least 13 years now and I think Twerton is a place to enjoy yourself and to hang out with friends and meet new people. Now I go along so I could join in with the activities and to chat about how I can improve my life and to see if there's any way that my nan could get support and one of the youth leaders come into my school so we can talk about what's been going on at home and what's been going on out of school and that's helped me quite a lot and my nan needed this help and since this help is came to me, she's felt really happy and is actually starting to f starting to trust me and my younger siblings. There's a sense of community here that hasn't been here for a long time. I lived in Twerton for 20 years. I never believed there was any sort of community here whatsoever. Never really saw anything worthwhile even trying to help or anything like that. But where since working with like 365 and with Luke and things like that, it's actually introduced me. So it's, it's from going to church and obviously, you know, meeting these people and then actually digging deep and finding that there is actually a community out there if you're willing to look for it. It's made me want to help more. And that's the main reasons that I started volunteering and for the past two years of helping out on other various projects. The, um, the living in our household has been, it's been incredible. It really has changed dramatically from everyone for themselves to let's actually stick together and and that's all because you know we're trying to do a positive thing for other kids and my kids are seeing it and want to do it too they want to be part of that as well which is just you know amazing it really is something I wouldn't like I said I would not have imagined ever happening but we've one particular incident a few weeks ago um we got one he can be a little bit of trouble and he likes to like you know stir it up a little bit but one, no one else was in the kitchen, but it was just me and him, and I was cooking. He, he started asking me about the Ten Commandments, and he's like, I don't really understand why we got to live by these rules. And it's like, it blew me away. It was like, whoa, this is the last person I expected to hear this from. But it's like, ah, this could be my chance, like, you know, to, you know, get, give him some information, maybe find his own way, find his own path. Maybe, you know, who knows what it could achieve. If you can just, like, you know, plant a seed in one, it'll grow, it'll spread. It always will. So, yeah, that's definitely, I'd, yeah. That's, that's the most positive thing I've had in the last couple of weeks, yeah, definitely. The good thing about the Tuesday Club is the leaders, because the, the leaders there, are, um, they're really, really supportive. So if you've got any troubles, you could just go up to them and they wouldn't mind and have a little, little chat about them. And then, like, they're, they're come to support you, whatever's, whatever's wrong. And, um, yeah, if there's any, like, things happening at home there, like, they are trying to understand you as much as they can. And... Yeah, they, they, and the other thing is they run the club really well as well, so they don't like have any of like bad things happening. They always try and keep it as going good as good as possible, and they try and organise as much much as they can to keep more people coming. I know Twitten a little bit because um, I have a long long term friend who's no longer with us, sadly, but we often used to come down for Sunday lunches or Sunday teas, and my my kids used to love us so. Uh, I do have a connection, and I was always aware that, um, you know, Twerton was an area with lots of social needs. So when I heard about Luke's project, uh, working into St Michael's School here uh, with children, and then on into the Life 365 project, I was really interested to hear what he was going to do. So I was really impressed when I came back at the end of the first year and uh, heard just how Luke had been doing. And um, his heart for these 
families was just so clear and evident how much he wanted to help them and, and as a result help the children in the families as well. So we funded him for a further year and uh, he's, he's pretty well halfway through that now. Um, so yes, I, I feel that this project could, could grow even and if there are other people uh, who wanted to get involved who have that same kind of heart and passion, that would be a great thing. It's hard to not judge these young people because of what used to happen in Twerton. But it's changed over just like four or three years. I've, man I've seen the change because I've built relationships with these young people and that's a change as well. And just everything feels like a community, not just looks like a community as well, which is great. Twerton's definitely changed for the best.